Hi guys, it's Mike from 24 Hour Solar Power here, and today what I want to talk about is um, battery backup for hybrid solar systems. And I'll show you some stuff in an off grid solar system, which help hope, hope it's easy to explain and understand um, how it all works. So, we're going to pick on the Tesla today uh, and talk through a Tesla. So, these hybrid solar systems are basically hybrid battery inverters, they're all designed around a financial payback. So, they're designed that within the 10 year period, within the warranty period of the battery that you're going to get a financial gain. Um, so, um, you know, if you jump on the Tesla website, it's got a great calculator. Um, so you can have a look at. So basically, yeah, they reckon here on a Tesla website, if you have one power installed, you have five, a five kilowatt solar system installed that um, if there's a grid failure, you will have power for seven days. So if you use an average of 15 kilowatt hours a day. So if you have an air conditioner, you want to use it during the outage, you're working on there. Um, it recommends getting two power walls. Let's just say we don't want two power walls, we just want one. Oh, it says you can't have two power walls. You can, it says you want two power walls if you want it to use in an outage. So let's go, so no, we don't want to use it in an outage. Um, Okay, so let's add a pull pump. We've got a pull pump, and let's say we want to use that in the outage. It's recommended two power walls, and we're going to be 76% self-powered most of the time, with 24% we're buying from the grid. We increase our solar system up to our nine kilowatt solar of solar panels. Um, it says we can be self-powered um, with two power walls when the grid's down. So let's say we want to use the air conditioner. What does it recommend? Cool. So work the air conditioner. So still saying we're using an average of 25 kilowatt hours a day and um, we're going to be self-sufficient. So, cool. Okay, so let me explain how these AC coupled batteries work. So, inside these AC coupled batteries, you've actually got the battery and you've got a DC um, inverter. So this actually takes the DC from the battery pack and turns it into AC. So, when the grid fails, we're actually going to only have this amount of power. Now, the original power walls come out with a 2,500 watt inverter. Um, watts is one of the most, the, the watt hour and the kilowatt hour, one of the most important things you will learn when it comes to anything to do with energy. Um, I'd highly recommend, I'll put the video link below to our video about the watt hour and really understand it. Uh, I deal with electricians that have been in the industry for 10 or 15 years and um, they don't understand the watt hour or kilowatt hour, the difference between uh, a watt and a watt hour. So it's really important. So these inverters, if you do have a 2,500 watt inverter, for example, um, when the grid's failed, it's got a 2,500 watt inverter, you know, your house is running, you get your fridge, your lights, TVs, you're using about 500 watts of energy, and then you turn the kettle on, um, this type of system will just run the kettle uh, and that there. So then if you go turn the toaster on, what will happen, you'll have a blackout. So normally how these inverters protect themselves is they just have a simple circuit breaker. So they've got a 28 breaker or something like this. Um, and what happens is when there's too much energy that comes through that circuit breaker, the circuit breaker trips, and therefore you have a blackout, and that's how it protects the inverter. Um, so to understand, it's simple. Watts is always volts times amps equals watts. So we're at 20, 20 amp breaker here. We're at 20. If we've got a 20 amp breaker protecting our, our circuit, our backup circuit in our inverter, times 240, it's meant to be in Australia. Um, that's 4,800 watts if we've got a 20 amp breaker as a backup. So that'll all really depend on the inverter that you have installed in these AC backup or what you've got. Most companies, most good quality companies like Tesla, I know Tesla's about to upgrade theirs to a five kilowatt inverter inside their battery packs. Uh, Sona actually only has a 2,500 watt inverter uh, for the battery backup. So even when the grid is working, if you are pulling a 5,000 watt load, from the grid, only 2,500 watts will come from your battery. The other 2,500 watts is going to come from the grid with, with inverters like this. So, um, yeah, so SolarEdge, um, they've got a couple of different backup applications. So the SolarEdge um, inverter AC cup as well with the Tesla and also with an LG Chem is what they normally recommend. Uh, these actually have a 5,000 watt backup. You actually can get a 6,000 watt backup inverter in these systems. Um, the good thing about the Solar Edge inverter, uh, it's actually DC coupled, so it's what, what's called Black Star. Um, so it, 
The Sonnen also has a black start ability as long as you have solar panels running into uh, directly into the inverter, uh, directly into the batteries basically. So um, if you don't have the black start ability, what basically happens if, if the grid fails, your battery goes flat, uh, you then actually can't, and until the grid comes back on, your batteries won't turn on if you don't have a black start set up. So let's go back to an off-grid system and sort of talk through that. And this is probably the best way to understand it, um, to give you an idea. So what these things are here, so here we actually have an off-grid inverter. So this actually takes energy from the batteries and turns it into, so DC turns it into AC. This here is a solar charge controller. So this is what your black start um, ability is. So the solar panels come straight into this and go straight to batteries. This is DC to DC. And over here we have uh, an AC coupled inverter. So this is a grid connected inverter. So how this inverter here works, it only works and you've only got the amount of usable power that you have from your solar panels. Uh, that's all you've got available from here. So of a day for this customer here, uh, they're completely off grid and it's no different to if, you, if the grid was available. Um, for this customer, they've did their, their grid's just a generator. Uh, but this inverter only works of a day. So this is the most efficient way. So solar panels come to this and they go DC into AC and they go directly into power all the house loads. Any excess goes over here to the inverter charger and then this then takes that AC and turns into DC and charges your batteries. So if you've got this type of system, so you get an AC coupled system and you don't have this ability, the, the DC to DC or black start, which the Solar Edge has, uh, I know Sonnen also has available as well. What happens when the grid fails? This here normally doesn't work on a grid connected solar system. So this won't work at all because normally the, the grid comes in and you've got the AC coupled inverter and then you've got your battery backup inverter. So what happens if, if normally this, this system here will fail? So when the grid fails, you've only got what you've got available out of this one here and what you've got left in battery storage. And once your batteries run out, there's nothing here to charge your batteries because this inverter here re relies on the grid to work um, in a normal hybrid grid connected solar system. Okay, so if you got the black start ability, what would happen? This here will still fail. You've got solar panels in this here. So your battery runs flat overnight and the sun comes up the next morning. When the sun comes up, as soon as the sun comes up, this solar regulator will start charging the batteries. The batteries will get enough charge in them. Once there's enough charge in the batteries, this inverter will come back on and you've got power. So that's what you get out of a black start um, system. That's what they mean by black start. Um, and yeah, so the other option is um, in a grid connected system. So this can work, this system here can be used as a hybrid system. Um, or, or completely off-grid, which this one is. How this system works in a completely off-grid scenario is the grid for this inverter here is actually the Victron, the inverter charger. So this here creates a grid which turns this on. So over day, this customer turns on anything from the loads and this inverter will power it. Any excess solar power goes into the inverter charger and it charges the batteries. Uh, for this instance here, if you think about, you know, if you've got a grid connected system, if it's a bad couple of days and, you know, this is not working, it's been raining, your batteries haven't been getting charged. With this system here, it just automatically starts a generator and charges the batteries and runs the loads of the house. So in, if you've got a hybrid system when the grid's available, um, what this system would do is we just take energy from the grid, charge your house, and um, you'd be good to go. So... Um, yeah, so that, that's basically um, how the Black Start works in the hybrid. So it's really important um, that you understand when you're getting a system that when there's a blackout, what available power you're going to have because everything's normally really good and, uh, until there's a blackout. So like I said, this one is only have a 2,500 watt inverter. Uh, we've installed a couple of them. They don't really fit for our customer bases up here in the Northern Rivers Rural. Uh, biggest problem we have with these type of systems is we've got a 2,500 watt backup. When the grid fails... The customers can't run their water pump because most water pumps, 2000, excuse me, 2000 to 2500 watt load. So we cannot actually run their water pumps from the grid fails. So, yeah, it's important that when off grid, you really understand what you're getting. And just, yeah, it, it's hard that, um, yeah, when you jump on a website this, like this Tesla website, and, um, you know, it gives you the impression that. 
If you use 25 kilowatt hours a day, uh, you got two power walls, everything's just gonna work completely a-okay. So, um, yeah, there's, there's a lot more to understand behind it than that. So, of all your energy loads and things like that. So, it's really important that you understand. So, as a customer's point of view, what I'd be asking um, when you're looking to install a solar system is um, for your off-grid backup, is will your grid connected inverter work when there's a backup? Now, the catch of this here, if you've got a five kilowatt inverter, you're gonna want a minimum of a five kilowatt off-grid inverter to handle that. If you've got a 10 kilowatt um, on-grid inverter, you're gonna want a 10 kilowatt off-grid inverter, so it's required to be one-to-one -to, -one to make that work. And that's why a lot of people, um, yeah, don't have that battery backup. There's lots of things like anti-islanding that could be involved in the in installation. Um, so yeah, so ask, will this inverter work in a blackout, back, blackout situation? Do you have black start ability? So if the grid fails, you've used all your batteries to play overnight the next morning, will your solar system fire up? And also what power will you have available when that happens? So uh, this is another really good example of a, um, hybrid system that we've installed for a customer. So basically this one here is a good example of, it's got a 10 kilowatt AC coupled system. This is actually a three phase system. So how this system works is three phase, 10 kilowatt, we've got 13 kilowatts of panels on the roof and it's got a 10 kilowatt inverter. It's actually a single phase five kilowatt off grid inverter. So when the grid fails in this customer, he actually loses all three phases. And then they've actually got the backup of only single phase. So lights, TVs, fridges, all that sort of stuff. And um, there's lithium batteries in here. So we use the Power Plus batteries in this here. Um, some advantages to using a product like the Victron product, uh, or Selectronics is another one in Australia that we do use, is they will talk to pretty much any and every single battery available in the market. So they're really good like that. Um, they work with a lot of different batteries. Um, now, when you go with a solar edge, uh, for example, um, I know solar edge are a high voltage solar system, so they like to talk with a um, uh, basically high voltage battery. So you're pretty limited. You've got your Tesla, you've got your LG chems. There's only a few batteries you can do. And um, there's a bit of a, um, you know, it's sort of the solar edge guys when they're in the shop here trying to say, look, buy more solar edge and sell more of our stuff. Uh, the sort of attitude they give to us is look, you know, buy everything from us because we're one manufacturer, we supply everything, we handle the warranty. Um, you know, it's like if you went and brought a Toyota and the air conditioner fails, you don't go back to the company that made the air conditioner, um, you go back to Solar Edge and they handle everything. So um, that's sort of their, you know, buy a car from that one supplier and handle everything. The sort of downside of that there, in my opinion, is you're limited. Uh, you are stuck with certain batteries that you can only use with the inverter or if that company says, hey, look, we want to charge you this for a new battery in the future, you're stuck with it because that's all you can use. Where with the Victron gear, yes, it is more expensive. Um, there's more labor involved because we're required to build all this, put it all together, um, program it all, make it talk. There is a lot more hassle in these sort of systems for us. But for you as a customer, you can pick whatever battery you want. So in the future, you can even put one of these systems in right now with some lead acid batteries, um, have some small battery backup, run some dedicated circuits in your house, and then in the future, battery technology gets better. You can upgrade your batteries and, and put better batteries in. Um, the other inverter I didn't actually talk about, um, just want to quickly cover it, is also Huawei, Huey, however you want to pronounce it. Um, they are a really good company in the way that they're doing and building their inverters. Now, currently their inverter on the market only works with high voltage batteries. So your LG cams and your Teslas and things like that. Um, and they do not work in a blackout situation. So they're all designed around money, finance, getting a return. Um, it's all about you know saving you money when the grid's available. If the grid fails, you've got no backup. Uh, unless you've got the Tesla, you'll have your dedicated circuit. But if you, for example, you use this with LG Chem, um, you have no backup when the grid fails. So these are all about a financial return. What I really like about this company and what they're doing is they're modular. So, you know, in this world of solar uh, and all about financial paybacks um, here in Australia, that's what it seems to all about for everyone. Because um, these things are modular in the future, if you do put this in right now with an LG cam and you're doing it all for financial reasons, and then you go, hey, look, Mike, next year we want to add, we actually want the, the system to work when there's a failure. 
They actually have a module you can add in. You can spend the extra couple of thousand dollars when you're ready, whack this module in, and actually get back up when the grid fails. Um, these systems here, you know, um, for those of you who watch the videos, I love about the solar edge ability that you can just add panels whenever you want in the future with solar edge, um, with optimizers. Um, you know, Huawei actually have an optimizer set up in the future. If you want to add a few extra panels or do this or do that, you've got optimizers to add to it. So they're a real modular system. Um, and they, they, yeah, so you can sort of add and they haven't really um, been proven in the area with their modular setup yet, but you know, as a company, they're the number one inverter installed in the world. So Huawei are a huge company. Um, they mainly specialize in um, centralized inverters, uh, commercial inverters, and then they just started the residential market, um, which is, you know, in my opinion, I own a car that was built by a truck company. Um, and in my life, every time I've owned a, a, a four-wheel drive that's been built by a car company, they're just not as good as a four-wheel drive that's built by a truck company because a truck company is sort of making things smaller still a lot stronger where the car companies are trying to improve their cars to make them a bit better. So, um, I, you know, this comes from a commercial perspective. It's like ABB, we're a real big fan of ABB because ABB is a real commercial company. So they take that commercial mindset that if something fails, it's going to cost the customer a lot of money. Let's make sure it works. So Huawei have that same mindset. Um, and look, if you have... You know, if you use the Telstra network in Australia or the Optus network, you use some of these guys' products because they actually have installed and supplied all the network in Australia. So they're a really good hybrid inverter designed around that financial return for at the moment. And, yep, they do have the option coming in the future, that modular setup where you can add to and, um, yeah, get your battery back up when the grid fails. So I hope this may help, guys. Um, it's educated about what you really want to understand. You know, for me as a business owner, when a customer comes in and has a conversation and just goes, Mike, you know, the reality is a lot of people say we're way too expensive. Um, but most of our systems we design, I design a system around that. If this is my house, what would I want? Um, I'd want the thing to work when there's a grid failure. I'd want to be able to run pretty much anything and everything in my house um, because I know that when there's complications and this little circuit breaker here, um, customers have installed a solar system and said, Mike, got no power. They go out and flick this circuit breaker. And what that means when this circuit breaker is tripped is the customers turn on a load too big for the inverter and they're protecting the inverter. Um, so it's not apples for apples in this industry and it's really hard and to understand because everything's so different. Uh, even me, I've got quotes from other companies and I read them and I go, you know, they're confusing. How would the customer really understand this? So... It is really important for you as a customer to educate yourself and understand, right, when the grid fails, this is not going to work my AC coupled inverter. I'm going to only have these solar panels and this battery backup. And if you have a look at this other system here, um, we zoom in, there's actually only a really tiny little DC to DC uh, in MPPT here. So this guy's only actually got one kilowatt of solar panels when the grid fails. So... When the grid fails, he's got one kilowatt of solar panels. He loses 13, but he's got one to charge the batteries and do everything. So, um, and that's enough for this customer. So that's all they really require in a blackout situation um, is one kilowatt of solar panels to get them through. So everyone's so different. So it's really important for you as a customer to understand that stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, share the video and like if you did. Thank you.